This video is a demonstration of a vascular ligation technique using a figure of eight suture. Your first throw will go deep to superficial on one side of that bleeding blood vessel. Typically with this technique, you're gonna be throwing your suture in plane with where you see the bleeding coming from the vessel. Your next throw will again be deep to superficial, this time on the other side of where you note that bleeding blood vessel. Now again, the assumption here is that you don't clearly see the end of the bleeding blood vessel, but rather, what you see is where the bleeding source is coming from. If you could clearly see the end of the blood vessel, a better technique would be to clamp it off and just simply ligate it as shown in a previous video. In this demonstration, I'm using nylon suture for clarity of demonstration purposes, but in a real situation, you'd more likely be using an absorbable suture such as Vicryl. When correctly performed, this type of suture should extrinsically compress the tissue surrounding the vessel and thus stop bleeding from the vessel. Let's take a look at this technique again a little closer. Now another way I like to think about this is if you can imagine a square box around the bleeding source, what you're going to do is throw your figure of eight suture such that the points of entry and exit of the suture are each of the corners of that box. Again, you're throwing deep to superficial, you reload your suture needle and you again throw deep to superficial on the other side of where you note the bleeding. When you tie off your knot, you'll create this figure of eight pattern which extrinsically compresses the tissue surrounding the blood vessel. Now it's important also to note that we're not actually tying off the blood vessel here. Rather, we're creating an extrinsic compression around the blood vessel in order to achieve hemostasis from that blood vessel. After several ties, you'll go ahead and cut off the excess suture material and wait a minute to see that you've attained